Hi folks, this is Atul Mishra, the founder of the TFI Media Group speaking. We are being penalized for speaking the truth. Our reach has taken a massive hit. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Only you can keep us going. The Indian government is liberating the countries of the Indian Ocean region from China's debt trap one by one. The latest development is the defense framework agreement between the USA and the Maldives, which was only possible because of the Indian government. A similar status of forces agreement was floated in 2013, but because of Indian objection, it could not see the light of day. This gives away two things. One, even after China's repeated attempts to compromise Indian influence in the Indian Ocean region, New Delhi still maintains its unquestioned sway over it. And two, in the last seven years, Indian and American strategic interests have converged a great deal as India seems to have changed its mind as confidence in the US administration has grown. After the signing of the agreement between the US and the Maldives, the Maldives Defense Ministry released a statement. It will add immense value to the excellent US-Maldives partnership defined by shared principles and interests in peace and security of Indo-Pacific and the Indian Ocean region amid rising threats like piracy and terrorism. Here, the island nation seems to have given recognition to the term Indo-Pacific, which tries to bind the Indian Ocean, the Pacific and everything in between. As the Indo-US strategic interests align, this US-Maldives agreement tactically destroys China's Indian Ocean grand strategy, which was termed as the String of Pearls. The combined presence of India and the USA in the Indian Ocean region will overpower any military influence that China may have intended to apply on Maldives. And even before this, India had responded to a request of the government of the Maldives by extending a new line of credit of about 400 million US dollars and a grant of a hundred million US dollars for multiple projects. All in all, India saved the Maldives from falling into China's debt trap by providing direct assistance of half a billion US dollars at a time when the nation dependent on its tourism industry is reeling from the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. And in what can be considered a dig on Beijing, Maldives Parliament Speaker and former President Mohammad Nasheed tweeted, The super low-cost development assistance announced by Dr. Jay Shankar today is exactly what Maldives needs. Genuine help from a friend to help us build critical infrastructure rather than eye-wateringly expensive commercial loans that leaves the nation mired in debt. Things have changed for the better since 2018, as during the previous Chinese puppet President Abdullah Yamin's rule, Maldives was about to become an extended colony of China if not for PM Modi's neighborhood first policy and proactively participating in the free and fair elections of the islands. If not for the regime change in 2018, Maldives, which is a 5 billion US dollar economy, owed 1.4 billion US dollars in debt to China as per government figures, and as per the opposition statistics, it was somewhere around 3.5 billion US dollars. The Communist Party of China's mouthpiece Global Times carried an article which said, great powers should no longer engage in setting their spheres of influence, and in the 21st century, countries should adhere to free, equal and mutually beneficial cooperation. These statements are enough to establish that China has now been cornered in the Indian Ocean Grand Strategy, which is why it is now going around preaching the ideas which it butchers on a daily basis in the South China Sea. After balancing the island nation's economic condition, the Indian government's support and approval of the US-Maldives defense agreement showcases India's intent to make the island geopolitically impenetrable to Chinese attempts at intimidation. During the signing, all eyes were on the USA's role in the Indian Ocean island nation, but it could not have been possible without the support of the Indian government. The Indian Ocean is New Delhi's backwater, and whatever one wants to do here would either require to act under India's will and wish, or challenge India only to find itself lost in the long run, as China did. India is now playing the role of a regional big brother towards its fellow Indian Ocean region countries. By combining PM Modi's neighborhood-first policy 
his act east policy the sagar that is the security and growth for all in the region policy and coordinating with western friends be it the usa france the uk among others india can count on chinese misadventures in the region now an in indian brokered us maldives defense agreement will surely be the death knell for the chinese dreams of dominating the indian ocean region